Imagine having the power to launch a fully functional business, complete with a website, stores, email sequences, and automation, all in just a few clicks. Does this sound too good to be true? It's not. Welcome to Frameworks, one of ClickFunnels' most game-changing features. Frameworks are pre-built, all-in-one business setups designed to save you time, eliminate the guesswork, and get you up and running faster than ever. And here's the kicker. They're stackable, customizable, and even shareable. Frameworks are here to revolutionize the way you build and grow your business. Ready to see how it works? Let's dive in. To get started using Frameworks, go ahead and tap on the Frameworks button in the lower left corner. If you don't see Frameworks available to you, go ahead and tap on Workspace Settings directly below and then locate Frameworks from the sidebar. Now to add a new framework, you'll click on the button that says Add New Framework from the top right. You'll be prompted with giving your new framework a name. Fill out the field and tap Create Framework. With the framework now created, it's time to build the framework out and add all of the details. There are several features you can currently add in, but new features are always being added, so make sure to look at all of the current available options when creating your framework. First and foremost, you'll notice the top section where you can always adjust the name of your framework, toggle the availability between shared and disabled, and add any affiliation names and codes. An affiliate name in ClickFunnels refers to the identifier used for affiliates within the system. It is part of the affiliate's profile, which includes their name and email, and is used to track and manage activities such as commissions and referrals. Let's go a little deeper into each of these sections and start at the top with themes. To select a theme, go ahead and click on Add Theme, and if there are any themes available, you can select them from the dropdown. You have the option to select multiple themes and add them at the same time. When the selections have been made, tap Add Theme. With Courses, tap on Add Courses and make your selection from the dropdown. If you have a course that has a special theme, it will be shared as well. Now once you've made your selections, you can decide whether to include any products that might be associated with the courses. Make the appropriate toggle and then tap Add Course. Another great feature is the ability to control whether your course can be reshared. In the course settings, you can choose to lock down your material, ensuring no one can share it without your permission. Next up is Funnels. Tap the Add Funnel button and you can select the funnel you want from the dropdown. Be sure to also toggle products if you want them included or not. And a really important note here, if you have any existing workflows attached to each of those funnel steps, those will be shared as well. However, if you have products attached to the funnels, those won't transfer unless you specifically assign them down at the toggle where it says Included Products. Now we have workflows, and when adding workflows, you only need to include the ones that aren't already attached to the above funnels you're adding. If they're already part of a funnel, they'll transfer automatically, so no need to add them again. Make your selections and continue. Pages are included as a section here if you want to bring any specific pages to the framework. Tap on Add Pages, and then from the dropdown, make your selection. Moving on to Store, you can add the entire store here in the framework. Now here's the thing about stores. You have the choice of whether or not you want to include all of the products associated with that store or not. Another note on store, if someone is trying to import your framework and they already have a store, they're not going to be able to import your framework with the store. To avoid this, a duplicated framework can be created that simply excludes the store. This way, you can include all of the other pieces and share with someone who already has a store. Now let's head down to products. If you have any products you would like to include, you can click on Add Products and then select them from the dropdown. An important note on products, if you share a product that was associated with the funnel you're also sharing, it will still retain that relationship. Last but not least, we have email templates, and if you want to include any of those, you can go ahead and make the selections from the dropdown and tap Add Email Template. Once everything is set up with the new framework, tap on Publish to make it active. If the framework includes assets such as audio files, images, course videos, etc., all of those assets will be included and shared into the importer's assets as well. Once your template is up to date, you'll see that now you have the ability to copy your sharing URL and share it with anyone you would like to have them import your framework. An important note about sharing URLs, no matter what changes you make to your framework, whether it's updating a funnel or adjusting a workflow, the URL will always stay the same. This means that if someone already has the link, you won't need to resend it after making updates. And if you ever want to delete your framework, simply scroll to the bottom and click delete. A quick reminder, if a funnel you're sharing has a workflow attached to it, 
that workflow will transfer automatically. However, any products in the funnel won't transfer unless you specifically assign them in the included products section. Also, if you choose to include products within the framework and those products are already linked to the funnel being shared, that connection will stay intact. Now that we've covered how to create a framework, let's take a look at how to claim one. It's a quick and easy process. You'll just click the link provided, you'll choose where to import your framework, and then you'll sit back and watch as all of the resources are added into your account. Whether you're starting fresh or using an existing workspace, it's a fast, seamless way to get everything set up and ready to go. To claim a framework, collect the URL of the framework and enter it into your search bar. If you do not have an existing ClickFunnels account, you will be asked to create one. If you do, go ahead and log in. Once logged in, you will be asked which workspace you would like to share the framework in. You also have the ability to import a new workspace as your ClickFunnels account will allow. Once you select the workspace you would like to import your framework with, you will then see the install screen. There, you'll be able to follow along and see as each piece is installed into your workspace. Once it's finished installing, you'll have the ability to click view to see each individual piece that's been installed. A note here for the theme, you'll also see an apply button. Now keep in mind, if you do click apply, this will override the existing one you have in your account and this will take its place. If you would like to see a history of what's been imported, you can head over to the workspace settings and then scroll down and click on resource import history. Here you'll be able to see what's been imported and by whom it was imported at what time. Now that you've seen how simple it is to claim and import a framework, you're ready to hit the ground running with everything you need at your fingertips. So whether you're launching something new or you're optimizing your current business, Frameworks makes the process faster, smoother, and way more manageable. So go ahead, explore frameworks and start putting them to work for you.